Thanks for joining us for another Kickstarter conniption. Today we're looking at In Too Deep from Burnt Island Games. As always, we want to make sure you're aware that our Kickstarter conniption videos are sponsored in part by our Kickstarter backers and by the creators of this game. Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. And today we're looking at In Too Deep from Burnt Island Games. This is from designers Josh Capel and Daryl Chow, and art is by Dominic Mayer. This is a one to four player action selection area influence set collection game. Has all kinds of great mechanics going on. It's on Kickstarter right now, and Burnt Island Games was kind enough to send us a prototype copy to check out. So let's take a look at how it's played. To set up the game, build out the board for New Dawn City, place out the two barricades, and place the Sentinel in downtown. Then, randomly place out the item tokens and criminals around the city. Set up the evidence board with boost tokens, fill the plank with face-up evidence tokens, and fill the plot with face-down evidence tokens for your player count. Next, set up the syndicate board by revealing three assignment tokens and filling the space with contribution cubes for your player count. Give each player their board and starting tokens, and deal a level one story and one side crime, and you're ready to begin. On your turn, you will first select a criminal to hook into. Then, you will gain grip with any criminals you still have hooked. You are then allotted two action points that you can spend to do things like move criminals, pick up items, use their special character actions, or take the actions for the location you are on, as long as there are no heat tokens present. If at any time you can fulfill the requirements of a side crime, you reap the benefits. Evidence tokens can be filed in the current chapter, which must be solved before the evidence pool tokens are gone for the round, or they can be used to help solve the overarching story plot at the end of the game. Story cards can be completed at the end of a turn with similar rewards and consequences based on your decisions. Dilemma cards gained throughout the game will give you bonuses for the evidence you've claimed, but they will also gain you corruption. If, at the end of the game, enough evidence has been collected to take down the Syndicate, the player with the most corruption must take negative points for going in too deep. The player with the least corruption will gain a bonus, and then points are tallied, and the player with the most points wins. We actually just finished a live playthrough of In Too Deep, so if you want to see the game in detail, you can check that out on our YouTube channel. In Too Deep is a game where you act as secret agents who are trying to uncover all kinds of different crimes that are going on throughout the city. You will be jacking into criminals' minds where you'll actually take control of them and try to fulfill missions uh, all over the board in all kinds of different ways using all kinds of different strategies uh, in order to ultimately gather enough even evidence and solve the crime. Yeah, each, there are three different chapters, and each one of those, everyone will try and need to contribute to them. If you are helpful in contributing to that chapter story, then uh, you may gain a bonus if you can complete it. If not, and you don't complete it as a team, then you will, anybody who has not contributed will gain a large penalty. So there's that going on every chapter. There are five different storylines that go with that section of the chapter. And to move on to the next chapter in the story, um, you'll have to have completed those first level chapters. So there's an A, B, C, and D. If you haven't completed, say, D, then you can't move on in the D storyline. And then there's that final final plot that you will need to gain evidence tokens and try to take down the syndicate. There are also a whole host of side missions that you can take on as you go throughout the game. And just like the main missions, they'll allow you to do things like gain evidence tokens or gain boost tokens, which will help you give you additional actions throughout the game. As you are upgrading your uh, grip with the players, you'll be able to take advantage of additional powers that each character has in the game. Uh, you'll also be able to take advantage of the actions on the board. You have to be careful not to draw too much heat to you. You can only use those actions uh, when there's no heat in those locations. So a lot of timing going on in the game, a lot of hoping that other people will kind of line up stuff on the board for you so that you can swoop in and take the actions that you need to, and a lot of just uh, figuring out the timing puzzle on, I've only got this many actions allowed, these many things have to happen, how can I make it all work uh, on my turn so that I can gain some big uh, points at the end of the game. 
Yes, at the end of the game, if you have solved the puzzle for the plot um, by gaining the right number of tokens for your player account, um, then you will just count up the victory points for everyone. If somebody has got, someone will have gone in too deep with the criminals and they will take all of those dilemma cards, you'll gain them throughout the game. They have varying numbers of, um, a, that will count against you, the corruption that you have gained. And those cards um, also have some possible bonus point scoring at the end of the game. So you want to gain a few of them, but not too many. If you have solved the crime and you have gone in too deep, then those cards will be negatively scored against you. And it's very difficult to come back from that penalty. Yeah, they do score you a lot of bonus points. They do score you potentially a lot of corruption. So you've got to really kind of balance how deep do I want to go? How many points do I think I can get? Is Do I think the case is going to be solved? Woo, it's a mind trip. Uh, the artwork for the game is really excellent. I love the style of the box and the city. These are obviously prototype components that we're looking at. So the finished version, if it's anything like Burnt Island's other games, I'm sure will be magnificent. So keep an eye on their campaign. See what kind of great, great, great stretch goals and things that they have to offer. Um, uh, in too deep, very meaty game, lots to chew on, lots of great decision making. Uh, I think if it's if you if this looks like your type of game, then I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can check out their Kickstarter campaign and then be sure to check out our other videos here at Tantrum House. Thanks for subscribing. Criminals, beware or give me lots of points.